very good morning students welcome to the class so today we will cover your bg class for your second chapter in your geography book the globe humne globe already study kar liya hai theek hai chapter reading hum kar chuke hain samajh chuke hain latitudes longitudes ko aage jo hai usko bahut acche se easily samajh jayenge bg class ke theek hai aap bahut dhyan se aaj ke class ko dekhiyega kyunki yahan pe jo hai globe ka pura jo part hai yani ki latitudes longitudes ye sab ko cover kare Hello, Earthly. I'm Zero. I come from Jupiter. What is your name? Hi, Zero. I'm Stella. I never thought I'd meet an alien. Welcome to Earth. Can we be friends? Of course. I've been making friends in various parts of the Earth. I wanted to meet someone who lived near the equator. I found you. Equator. What is the equator? Come with me to outer space. I will explain. All right. Right now, we're on the orbit of Jupiter. You see the Earth from here. Yes, I'm able to see the Earth, but where is the equator? You cannot see the equator, as it does not exist in reality. The equator is an imaginary line that divides the Earth into two equal halves. The northern half is known as the northern hemisphere, and the southern is known. as the southern hemisphere so i live in the northern hemisphere right yes you're right including the equator there are 180 imaginary lines on the earth running in an east west direction these lines are called lines of latitude and i see that these lines are all parallel to each other yes Due to this, they are also called parallels of latitude. Is there a way by which we can locate a particular parallel of latitude? <laughs> yes, of course. Latitudes are denoted in degrees. For example. The equator lies at zero degrees. Hence, it is also called the zero degree latitude. All parallels of latitude that lie in the northern hemisphere are called north latitudes and are indicated by the letter N. All parallels that lie in the southern hemisphere are called south latitudes and are indicated by the letter S. The north pole lies at 90 degrees north, while the south pole lies at 90 degrees south. Why aren't there any lines of latitude at the north pole and south pole? The equator is the longest line of latitude. As we proceed from the equator to either of the poles, the length of the lines reduces. So, by the time we reach the poles, the lines are totally gone. and are replaced only by a point does each parallel of latitude have a name not all only some major latitudes have names in the northern hemisphere 
The Arctic Circle lies at 66 and a half degrees north, while the Tropic of Cancer lies at 23 and a half degrees north. Similarly, in the southern hemisphere, the Antarctic Circle lies at 66 and a half degrees south, while the Tropic of Capricorn lies at 23 and a half degrees south. Which means I live between the equator and the Tropic of Cancer, right? You're right. Hey, Sarah, it's been an hour since you came. Isn't it time for you to get back? Oh, yes, sir. Mom will search for me. Can you drop me back? Sure. Goodbye, Zemo. Come back anytime. Sure, sir. Goodbye. Silver draws an outline of the Earth and marks the major parallels of latitude. However, she forgets to label them. Can you label them for her? Also, identify the degree for each parallel of latitude. Click the Check Answers button to verify your answer. Sandra lives in Denver. She is now going to her native place to attend her cousin's wedding. During the day, Sandra feels very hot and notices that the sun is scorching right above her head. However, she diverts her attention to think about meeting her favorite cousin, Tom and Jill, at the wedding. Hey, Sailor. Glad to see you after a long time. This city is so hot. London is so pleasant and has such a cool climate when compared to this place. Hey, Joe. Coming from London, you feel so hot. Think about me. I just returned from my vacation in Siberia, where you can feel nothing but the cold. In this place, I feel as if I might melt due to the intense heat. Anyway, come on. Let's not stand out for too long. Yes, Tom. Let's all go in. Sarah and her cousins live in various parts of the world. Kelly, London, and Siberia. Why do you think the climate of these places are so different from each other? Shane talks with the rest of the club. After the discussion, click the continue button to proceed. The heat received by any place on Earth is determined by its distance from the Sun. This was the reason behind the high differences among the climates of Kennedy, London, and Siberia. The Earth is divided into three distinct heat zones based on the degree of heat received from the Sun. We use the major parallels of latitude to determine the heat zone. The torrid zone lies between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. The equator runs through the center of this zone. The areas that lie near the equator are called the equatorial regions. The areas that lie near the two tropics are called the tropical regions. 
Sol means hot. As the name indicates, this is the hottest zone on the Earth. The midday sun shines exactly overhead, at least once a year, on all latitudes in this zone. Sailor lives in the torrid zone. The temperate zone is divided into two parts, the north temperate zone and the sun temperate zone. The north temperate zone lies between the Tropic of Cancer and the Arctic Circle. The south temperate zone lies between the Tropic of Capricorn and the Antarctic Circle. Temperate means neither too hot or too cold. As the name indicates, this zone has a moderate climate which is neither too hot nor too cold. The sun is never overhead in this zone. Sela's cousin Joe lives in the temperate zone. The frigid zone is divided into two parts, North Frigid Zone and the South Frigid Zone. The North Frigid Zone lies between the Arctic Circle and the North Pole. The South Frigid Zone lies between the Antarctic Circle and the South Pole. Frigid means extremely cold. As the name indicates, the frigid zone is very cold. In this zone, the sun does not rise much above the horizon. Selma's cousin Tom lives in the frigid zone. The whole continent of Antarctica lies in the south frigid zone. It is the coldest place in the world and is often called the frozen continent. Here is a quick recap of what you have learned so far. Zach and Sarah are playing a game using the globe that their father bought for them last week. As for the game, one person names a random place and the other person tries to find the place on the globe using as minimal clues as possible. On a globe, it may be easy to find a place using a few clues. Is there an easy way to find a particular place? Yes. Do you want to know how? Then click the continue button. Meridians of longitude are imaginary lines that run from the North Pole to the South Pole. Since the Earth keeps rotating on its axis, it was difficult to determine a central meridian with reference to which other meridians could be measured. In 1884, all of the countries of the world agreed to consider the meridian passing through the Greenwich Observatory near London in the United Kingdom as the central meridian. This meridian came to be called the prime meridian. The value of the prime meridian is zero degrees longitude. All meridians of longitude lying to the east of the prime meridian are denoted by the letter E. 
by an old meridian lying to the west of the prime meridian are denoted by the letter W. All meridians of longitude are of equal length. Meridians of longitude are drawn at intervals of one degree. Thus, there are 360 meridians of longitude covering the circumference of the earth. 180 each to the east and west of the prime meridian. As the 180 degree longitude is the same line to the east as well as the west of the prime meridian. This longitude is not suffixed by the letters E or W. All meridians of longitude meet at the pole. Therefore, the distance between any two meridians of longitude is widest at the equator and decreases toward the poles. You are already familiar with parallels of latitude. If we recall to recall the meaning of parallels of latitude. Click the continue button to proceed. Parallels of latitude and meridians of longitude together form a grid pattern. We can use this grid to locate places anywhere on the earth. Choose any one of the given places to know where it is located on the globe using latitudinal and longitudinal degree. Notice that there is a lot of distance between each degree of latitude and longitude. If we were to locate a place which lies between two consecutive lines of latitude or longitude, how could we achieve it? To ensure precise identification of places, each degree is divided into 60 minutes, and each minute is further divided into 60 seconds. For example, the exact location of Washington, D.C. is 38 degrees, 53 minutes, 22 seconds north and 77 degrees, 2 minutes, 41 seconds west. Let us now distinguish between the features of parallels of latitude and meridians of longitude. In each of the given features of parallels of latitude, fill in the corresponding features of meridians of longitude. Click each blank to verify your answers. Sarah and her parents are going to you to spend her summer vacation with Sarah's cousins. As the flight is landing in New York, Sarah hears a new flight announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to New York City. The local time is 3.22 p.m. We wish you a pleasant stay at New York. Thank you for flying with us. Sarah looks at her watch, which is still showing Indian time. I 
you thinking what Sela is thinking? At any given place, you cannot get it by looking at the sun's position. Whether the position of the sun will not be the same at different places on the earth at the same time. So, how do we determine the time at various places around the earth and also calculate the difference between their time? Scientists used meridians of longitude for this purpose. What are the meridians of longitude? The Earth takes 24 hours to complete a 360-degree rotation. So one hour that is in six minutes, the Earth rotates 15 degrees. Therefore, to cross one degree of longitude, the Earth will take four minutes. Since the prime meridian in Greenwich is considered to be the central meridian of longitude, the time of any place around the world is determined based on the time at the prime meridian. You can calculate the time difference between Greenwich and any other place in the world by multiplying the longitudinal value of that place by four minutes. Since the Earth rotates from west to east, the local time of places to the east of Greenwich will be ahead of Greenwich time, while the local time of places to the west of Greenwich will be behind Greenwich time. Let us take an example to understand this better. Sela is now in Europe, which is at 74 degrees longitude. To determine the time difference between Greenwich and New York, we multiply 74 degrees by 4 minutes. Plus, the time difference between Greenwich and New York is 296 minutes, that is 4 hours and 56 minutes. Since New York lies to the west of Greenwich, it will be behind the Greenwich time. Thus, when it is 12 pm at Greenwich, it will be 7 4 pm at New York. Scylla is in Delhi. Is Delhi ahead or behind Greenwich time? Hit the show answer button to check your answer. When you cross the 180 degree menu, you will move to the next day. Because there is a time difference of 24 hours or one day between its two sides. If you cross this line going eastwards, you will gain one day. And if you cross it when you are going westwards, you will lose one day. Due to this difference, this line is referred to as the international date line. Notice this line is not a straight line but a zigzag line that enables it to avoid crossing any landmarks. This is because if this line passes through a landmark, then that landmark would have two dates at the same time, which is practically impossible. If you are traveling in a flight that is crossing the international date line, moving from east to west, will you be gaining or lose a day. Click the show answer button to check your answer.
story in a given way, can you have a recap of the key points that you have learned so far? Similar names and death, which lies at 77 degrees longitude. Calculate the time difference between Delhi and New York by filling in the blanks in the given calculation. Click the show. Do you think midday occurs at the same time on different meridians? No, on different meridians, midday occurs at different times. When the time at a place is given with reference to its midday, it is known as the local time of the place. It is convenient to use local time of a place in a limited area, but it is not convenient when people in large area have to communicate with one another. There is a difference of four minutes in the local time of places on two meridians that are one degree apart. When the longitudinal distance is more, the difference in time increases. So countries having great expanse from east to west adopt the local time of the central meridian as the time for the entire country. This is called the standard time of the country. Let us take the example of our country, India. The east-west expanse of India is great. The longitude distance between the easternmost place, Arunachal Pradesh, and the westernmost place, Gujarat, is 29 degrees. So, the local time difference of these places is 1 hour 56 minutes. So, in India, we have a standard time called Indian Standard Time, IST. IST is based on the meridian, 82 degrees, 30 minutes east. This meridian passes close to Allahabad in Uttar Pradesh. When the sun is overhead here, the time is assumed to be 12 noon in India. Actually, at that time, it is already past noon in Arunachal Pradesh and not yet noon in Gujarat. Even then, the noon time on 82 degree 30 minute east is considered as 12 noon all over India. This time is known as Indian Standard Time. But some countries have very vast east-west expanse, so it is not convenient to have one standard time in countries like United States of America, Canada and Russia. Did you know the United States of America has four different standard times? Different countries have different standard times. Thus, to ensure a standard time across the world, the meridian which passes through Greenwich is considered as the prime meridian. The difference in the standard time of different countries is told according to Greenwich time. Indian standard time is 5 hours 30 minutes ahead of Greenwich meridian. So, if it is 6 a.m. at Greenwich, it will be 30 minutes past 11 in the morning in India. Here's a chance to recall the main points covered in this session.